In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert songs on your cassette tapes to MP3s. As far as equipment goes, you're going to need a PC, either a laptop or a desktop that has a microphone input jack. So usually there's two. You've got your output for your headphones and then you have your microphone or sound in jack. So that's, that's a uh, requirement. You have to have those. If your computer does not have a microphone or input jack, the uh, eighth of an inch jack, you can buy, they have a USB um, version that you can buy that has uh, the both the headphone and the microphone input jack. You're also going to need a tape deck. I've got a dual deck tape deck. It's a TAC. I bought it used at a thrift shop for eight bucks. So just shop around and find one that works. Um, test it in the thrift shop before you buy it. Have a tape with you or just borrow a tape that's in the thrift, thrift shop. Um, make sure it plays. Make sure you get a level. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. But make sure it, it functions. Uh, you're also going to need um, this item from Radio Shack or another electronic supply store. It's a uh, basically it converts the signal from the tape deck to um, it, it'll take the signal into your PC into your microphone input uh, so you have these two RCA jacks because it's stereo left and right and then you have your eighth of an inch input jack uh, for your microphone on your PC and here's what the back looks like you're gonna need this configuration you see you've got output and line in you're gonna need the output left and right those are the RCA jacks so here's another tip um, if you've bought a used tape deck it's probably filthy in the thrift store covered with dust and junk and gunk so you will wanna clean the the tape head which is right here that silver thing and then your roller that black roller there um, you wanna clean that and to do that, you can get some isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and a cotton swab. And I'll show you how to do that. And you'll want to clean it before you start on this adventure. So I should have, I'll go ahead and put that first somewhere in the beginning of the video. Um, go ahead and just swab it, clean it off. And that's pretty much all there is to it with the roller. You have to do this motion where you're uh, rolling it and then cleaning it and then you'll get all the dirt off of it. And that will improve your sound quality in your final MP3. So now I'm going to connect the RCA jacks and mine aren't marked uh, red and white so I'll just guess at that like so make sure it's in the output jacks then your eighth inch plug goes in your microphone jack on your PC like that next go ahead and power on your unit so powers on and use a crappy cassette that you don't care about to actually test it out and make sure this thing is going to work for you. You don't want to destroy your original. Uh, so go ahead and like so, and then I'll show you the next step. You're going to need a piece of software called Audacity. The current version is 2.1.2. This is where you get it. It's audacityteam.org slash download. So go ahead and grab that and install it. It's free. It's uh, open source software.
So this is the Audacity interface. Uh, there's a couple of things you're going to want to pay attention to. Um, you're going to want your, to set your mic to external. There's different choices. Internal, if you have an internal mic, and external, make sure it's on external. You want the, by default, this is set to mono, but you want it on stereo because you want both channels. Um, this should be on speakers and headphone. Now you can go ahead and press play on your tape deck. And as you can see, we have output. And now we have input in Audacity. Uh, let's see if we can adjust the... Uh, Here's the recording volume. So it looks like it's pretty high. Let's let's try it and see what happens. So hit record. And there we go. Looks like it's a song just ended. Another one started. And that's enough for a test, so let's go ahead and stop it. Okay. I'll stop the tape over here. And now let's play it back and see what happened. Flawless. Perfect. Now I'll show you a couple of tricks in Audacity. So one thing you can do is, um, like if you want to delete that, you just highlight it and delete. Very simple. And let's say you want to have this a little bit louder. You can amplify right here. And it's by decibels, so yeah, you have to make sure that the allow clipping is checked right here. Make sure that's checked, and then OK. And then that amplified it a little bit. Let's try it again. There we go. So now you want to save your file. So you go to File, and then Export Audio. And there's some settings here. Um, you want to choose MP3. Oops. There we go. And then uh, there's different settings. You can do your research and figure out what works best for you. But I use constant and we'll go with 256. Actually, we'll do 320. Highest quality. And I've read that joint stereo is pretty good um, versus stereo. Uh, do your research on that and decide which one works best for you. And then we'll give it a file name. And save. It's complaining. So we'll save it to the music folder. Fine. Save. Oh, it's complaining again. So it needs the uh, encoder download.
Okay, so lame version uh, 3.99.5 doesn't work, so you need to go to this link, lame.buonzo.org slash pound sign lame win dl. And then go down to this link here, lame v3.99.3 for windows.exe, and go ahead and download that. Go ahead and install. Name for Audacity, okay. Install. Finish. Okay, we're back in Audacity, so let's go ahead and export again, and then we'll select that DLL in the folder that it was just created by the installer. So we'll go down here, export audio, MP3. We're going to call it, all right, first of all, we got to select the right folder here, music. I'm going to call it 1.mp3 and I'm happy with these settings so go ahead and save it oh so it already figured it out that it found the DLL okay very good and you can plug in your um, song title and information if you want to I'm just gonna leave it blank for now and click OK So in my music folder, I now have this MP3. It's going to open up in Winamp. Hopefully. So it did open up in Winamp. It took a little bit of time. Um, I don't know why my computer's slow, but let's go ahead and play it. Hmm. I guess it would help to have volume. And there you have it. That's how you do it. The long way, the hard way. <laughs>